Why would Mother Nature allow there to be diseases and insect pests out in the real world? There's something about this plant growing in this condition where the soil's not right for it. This plant's not healthy. It's stressed. It's putting out the stress signals. And the insects and the diseases home in on those stressed plants. And now we've got insect and pest and disease problems. Mother Nature sends in the garbage collectors. That plant's stressed. It doesn't belong here. The soil's not right. It's sick. I'm sending in the garbage collectors. And that's all a disease is, an insect pest, a root feeding nematode. It's just a garbage collector. Mother Nature needs garbage collectors just like we do in our cities. Without them, everything gets clogged up and choked and things don't function right. So Mother Nature is sending you a message. When you've got diseases, when you have insect pests, when you have weeds, Mother Nature is saying, hey, wake up. And she smacks you upside the head and says, pay attention here. You will have this problem until you fix the condition in your soil. Health must be returned. Well, precisely what's the right health? Got some more understanding. Because we've got to get the balance of things in the soil right for the plant that you're trying to grow. And we have to understand all of that. But when we deal with all these problems in a way that solves the original problem, not masking the fact that Mother Nature is sending you this message, we're not trying to obliterate the message. We've got to fix the problem. If we do that, when we, then we get all of those benefits. You see, when, when we deal with toxic chemicals, we're just trying to mask the symptom. Think about human health. If you've got a bad headache, you go to the doctor, and the doctor says, take some of these painkillers. You go home, you've gotten rid of the pain, so you continue going on, but we've only masked the symptom. We haven't taken care of the tumor that's growing in your brain. You will die. We can't just mask symptoms. You've got that headache for a reason, and you need to figure out why and deal with the problem. Same thing in soils. When we've got weeds, when we have insects, when we have pest problems, Mother Nature's trying to tell you that something's terribly wrong here. Fix the problem. If all you do is mask the symptom, you just get to pay money. A lot of money. More money every year because the problem's going to get worse and worse and worse until you finally fix the problem. As we fix those problems, of course, we typically maximize yield. We see increases in yields. I don't like to promise that to anybody because I sort of feel like the yield increase is icing on the cake. You'll get it. But the things that we're really going to do is reduce your weed aside, your herb aside. We're going to reduce your pesticides. We're going to get rid of those insecticides. You're not going to have to put on the inorganic fertilizers or you reduce that down to a very, very low level. We're going to reduce water use in your systems. If we get the biology back into the soil and we make sure that it's there and it gets established, we've reduced water use by as much as 70%. If you can reduce your watering bill by 70%, would that be of interest to you?